Hi, Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. Yesterday on the 12th of July 2021, Google announced that Google Drive would be getting a brand new syncing client. And this would be made available shortly for both Windows and Mac OS. Now the new uh, syncing client will be called Drive for Desktop and it will replace the current backup and sync which is made available for consumers and it will also replace the Drive file stream which is made available by Google for business users and Google announced yesterday that they are unifying the whole syncing client and basically taking the consumer edition and the uh, business edition now and popping it into a new syncing client called Drive for Desktop. Now I currently use backup and sync as part of my uh, backup uh, solution and I find it very handy as I just basically forget about it and it syncs my data and uh, uh, files that I have selected into the cloud and I find it just gives me peace of mind you know on my day-to-day -day computer uh, backups and usage. Now the only downside with I find with backup and sync is initially when you boot up your PC from a cold boot it does cause your PC to lag a little bit if you try to use your uh, PC straight after booting up as it's you know it processes quite a bit of files especially uh, you know depending on the amount of files you have uh, that you ha are having backed up it can take a little while and cause a bit of lag on the initial boot up experience um, just while it processes those files but after that you know it uh, uh, you know everything uh, returns to normal now if we just pop over to um, uh, the Google Drive uh, the new sync client drives uh, web page sync content across all devices with drive for desktop this was published yesterday the 12th of july 2021 and here we can see that uh, google has published a new image of what the preferences will look like and you know compared to the current backup and sync which i have opened on my desktop which looks a bit dated and quite cluttered actually this looks a little bit more modern and you know toned down a little bit a little bit more minimal and uh, um, obviously uh, Google just trying to unify that uh, the, the sync client and obviously just, um, you know, um, just make things a little bit more user friendly. Now, it says here a unified, easy to use and fast sync client for all users. And it says now, now we are uni unifying these sync clients, as I mentioned, in the new draft for desktop, bringing people the best and most used features from both backup and sync and drive file stream including the ability to upload and sync photos and videos to google photos and or google drive sync external storage devices to the cloud including flash drives and external hard drives mirror drive files on your desktop which stores your files on your local device and enables quicker access to your content now basically backup and sync does most of that already but obviously they just um, unify the experience in the experience and just want to make you know clear what actually the new drive for desktop will be uh, backing up and syncing and what it can and can't do now if we just go to transition into drive for desktop it says here in the coming weeks backup and sync users will begin to see prompts asking them to transition to drive for desktop which we recommend doing by september 2021 after this point users will see an in-product notification knowing them they'll need to transition to continue syncing their files so if you are like me and use uh, backup and sync on a regular basis which is now going to be rolling out in the future as drive for desktop then google will notify you then when there is an update available to um, you know update you to the new drive for desktop so i hope you found this video useful once again thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one